welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to use the Hedwig uh, Transmission Electron Microscope. Today I want to show you all the steps for how to use the Hitachi HT7 800 um, microscope, transmission electron microscope. And this one is um, better than the one that I've shown before because you can load up to three samples at a time. So the first thing is to reset the stage and then you want to turn on the filament and then you want to give this some time, maybe five minutes after turning it on. And meanwhile, you want to load your samples onto the probe. So as I mentioned, you can load three samples. They have to be um, the copper side facing up and uh, yeah, you just insert the probe until it stops aligning the notch and then you want to set the air to evac and the light will become green and once that happens you can turn it 30 degrees clockwise and it will just insert then 15 degrees counterclockwise and after that, you want to wait until the pressure drops, but this will take a bit, so um, meanwhile, I will uh, change the sample name and uh, my uh, settings for where I want to save the images. So now that the pressure has dropped, you can finally turn on the beam and then you'll be able to um, finally take cool images. But before that, make sure that you're on the right specimen. So I will move to specimen 1 and turn on the live view and you can finally um, see what is on your grid. Now you can just move around on the grids, zoom in and change the focus to take your desired images. And in general, taking good TEM images requires practice and um, trial and error to figure out what works best for your sample, what kind of stain is best, and what kind of carbon thickness on the grids. And all these factors will affect how and what you can see. So to take a picture, I'm going to turn, um, yeah, turn on the drift uh, correction and yeah, take a snapshot. These are some of the interesting uh, objects and particles that I was able to see that day, but yeah, I cannot tell you what they are exactly because these are unpublished results but um, overall it's a very interesting experience to be able to see things that are so small and you won't be able to ever see them with your naked eye so it is overall fascinating once you're done you want to turn off the live view turn off the beam then you can pull out the probe turn it clockwise 15 degrees then pull it out again and then turn it counterclockwise by 30 degrees pull out the probe again until it stops then set the evac switch um, to air and once it's done the light will, will turn red and you can easily pull out the probe. Remember to never touch the tip of the probe. You should always place it back in the holder very carefully. Then just um, turn the uh, sample holder up and carefully remove your grids and place them back in the grid holder. Hope you found this helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.